Hey guys, welcome to Red Blooded Reviews. Today we were tearing down our little uh, Hobart Champion 10,000. Uh, Derek got this, uh, well, I got this on a trade, and then I ended up doing some trading with Derek, and he ended up with it. it uh, we got it with, uh, I think it was 127 hours. How many hours he got now? 346. So he's put a little over 200 hours on it. Um, it's been a decent welder, but for some reason, when you strike an art, Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it just doesn't want to do anything. And I uh, did a lot of searching on the forums and stuff like that. Basically traced it down to the board. Well, the board's out. The uh, board or it's a, uh, the stator inside the yeah. generator. Which, is, if it's a stator, it's anywhere between $800 and $1,000 to fix. And if it's the uh, if board, it's, it's going to be $400. It's $400 or uh, we can get the guy to fix the board, which uh, he's... he's Trying to see if, he, if it's the board. Yeah. Um, yeah, at the moment we got a guy looking at the board. Hopefully he can fix it. Maybe it's a dial, maybe it's whatever. I didn't um, I didn't really want to spend a thousand dollars on a welder that I paid fifteen hundred dollars for. So uh, So anyways, this, while this is down, Derek went out and made a frivolous purchase. Yeah. Pretty good purchase. Uh, bought a, a Trailblazer 325. It lists for six thousand dollars. I went to the local uh, welding place and uh, they got it for me for forty five hundred, which is a damn good deal. Uh, I was thinking about the Lincoln Ranger three hundred five G, and it it does a lot of things that the Trailblazer doesn't do, and it also there's a lot of things that the Trailblazer does that the Lincoln doesn't do. But uh, that guy, it lists. List price was 4500 and the guy would not come off 4500 at all. Uh, I think it came down $7, but he said $44.93. So, and I, my boss has, has Millers, and he loves them, so why not get a Miller? Yeah, I welded, I mean, I welded with this whole bar, I welded with Miller, uh, Esau, welded with Lincoln, welded with pretty much everything that's out there, man. And, a good hand can make a pretty bead with anything. I mean, you can make a pretty bead with a little cracker box welder from Home Depot. But, uh, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's all personal preference. It's the price you can get. I mean, you know, he chose the Trailblazer because it was a $6,000 machine that he got for $4,500. He got a little better deal versus getting a $4,500 machine for $4,500. Now, I've welded 305Gs, and I love them. They're great. They weld just as good as my Lincoln SA200. I've never welded with a Trailblazer yet. But we're damn sure going to find out if this thing's uh, everything it tells it. Yeah. It comes with a, a three-year warranty on the motor and a three-year warranty on the welder, uh, which is a good thing. I mean, it, I don't think it has to do with how many hours you put on it. I guess you put 3,000 hours on it in, in three years. But uh, I've had this one for a little over a year, and I've only put 226 yeah. hours or, 20, well, 220 hours on it. Uh, but we're going to show you this. Uh, we had we opened the top of the box, put some gas in it. But uh, other than that, we haven't opened the box, and uh, we haven't put anything together. So we'll have to do that on the video. And uh, we're going to open it up. Cool. You got a pause it there? Nope. Here's the welder. the truck like the Hobart did but I'll get my ass up here. Uh, we got the box off. Uh, it doesn't have any power. We gotta hook up the negative to it. Uh, we gotta put the uh, the uh, exhaust pipe on. Yep, I'm gonna need a pair of got a pretty good test starter on it. 
I like how the muffler is. I kind of like a, I see it's got a lot of insulation on this. That whole bar is kind of wide and open. That thing's really, really loud. This thing is uh, how many bit decibels? 60 something decibels? I think 70 something decibels. What do you say? It takes uh, six of these, six of the, uh, six of these to make the same noise as what one of those makes? Twelve. 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 Okay. There you go. And uh, it's got a pretty good size muffler on it. A little, probably bigger than what that whole bar is. But then it's got this. Uh, the pipe has actually got a little glass back on it. I guess kind of go ahead and press the sound on down. Yeah, it's got a uh, uh, 23 horsepower Kohler engine. Um, carburetor, it's not the yeah, EFI. Yeah, carburetor, it's not EFI. That's another thousand bucks. It doesn't have the doesn't have an electric fuel pump. That was another five hundred dollars. It says right here on top, do not fill past this mark right here. Uh, I've, I've read a little bit on the internet about if you fill it up past this, it can mess up the motor. Um, they had some problems. They had to rehome the uh, cylinders and stuff like that. Um, so I don't think I'll ever be filling it up past this mark. Really? It messed this? What? How would it mess it up on me? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put this uh, negative on here. Alright, we got it back together now. Uh, well, we got it put together now. And uh, we're going to show you the front of it. Alright, now the first thing I noticed, it has an XMT style, like what you would see in a uh, shop or building or anything like that, you know, one of those 220 units. From my understanding, is this machine is a generator that runs the little inverter welder like an XMT. I mean it's got the auto stop, the auto crater, it even has pulse TIG which is really cool. Gouge, you got your XX10, your XX18, um, you know and you got your uh, your constant voltage where you go your wire feed, flux core, solid, and then here's your remote. You want to get uh, remote. I think the uh, the wireless remotes are like 600 bucks. I'm sure that's something Derek's not really going to give a shit about. No. But uh, I see your uh, infinite. Oh, no, it's not infinite. That's max and that's empty. All right, and then there's your soft and stiff remote. There's your ground. It is carbureted, so it's still got your choke. Let's turn the key on, buddy. Let's see what she does. All right, making weird noises. Hour, double, quadruple zero. Got one bar left to full because we only put 15 bucks in it. All right, I don't know. Let's see. Let's start her up. Oh, uh, oh, it's a hundred percent. It's already quieter now. I just turn it over. It's gonna take a second for it to start. Yeah, I just have to fill the filter up. Positive. 
120, 120, 220 for your uh, your negative for your TIG and your gouge and your wire feed. Is your stick negative? I probably didn't get that on the down the screen, on the camera. But. Yeah, I like the uh, I like the, the doors that they got right here. Everything's kind of out of the way. We went ahead and put these on right there. Oh, the camera was off. And uh, he said I like it. I don't know how long to hold up. They look a little bit more stouter than normal doors. That's so much more quiet than that damn Hobart over there. Yeah, that's what's crazy. It's the same engine. Same engine. And it's, I'd say it's five or six inches shorter than the Hobart. It's uh, it's five or six inches shorter than, than all the welders older than about three years ago. Three years ago, they went into the uh, their stage of redoing the, uh, the whole welder, and they made them uh, five or six inches shorter. Uh, so they, you can fit more of them in a vehicle. And the other thing is, is, the reason they got that somehow is they flipped the engine and the generator backwards. If you notice, yeah. your engine's right here, and your generator's over there, whereas your whole bar, or my Bobcat, engine's always down there. Up here, I guess it's, it sucks in air through here, cools the engine out, flows to the generator, and comes out the back. And what I like about it is, on that Hobart, you see this up, up inside here is your... Uh, all your electronics are up there and it's all uh concealed or what do you call it not concealed uh it's in the vault or whatever they did i think they yeah, call it the vault. it's all it's all inside a uh, deal where you can't yeah. get any water you can't get any dirt or anything in there and this hobart over here i'll show you is uh it's pretty much uh out in the open there's no uh there's nothing well i mean if you had the cover on it I mean, this right here would cover a little bit, but here, I, pull this I mean, what are you talking uh, about is this right here? Your generator gets covered up, and your board and everything else is it's right here, but it's still kind of out in the open. This is all free motor, yeah. And there's really nothing between it between besides this and this little uh, box right there. But that's so as as you see on the on the generator, it's all dirty and dusty and nasty and the. Uh, when we pulled the board off there, it had dirt dauber on it, and it was uh, dirty as hell. But uh, that that miller, you're not going to have that problem. No, but you know what this thing is going to be good for? This is going to be a good backhead machine. Yeah, good once generator. we fix it, uh, might might sell it, maybe. No, nah. uh, but... never want to sell a good money maker. Like I said, it's always good to get back Yeah, the but you don't know when it when it's going to weld and when it's not going to weld. That's exactly what you need to do. When you don't know, you need to sell it. So fuck somebody uh, else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this one, I know it's going to weld. Well, we haven't even welded with it. No. Hopefully it's going to weld and it's going to do a whole lot better than, than uh, that Hobart over there. My boss, he's got a lead... Uh, Miller Legend and a Miller Trailblazer, and he's probably got probably 2,000 hours on each one of them, and they still run just fine. So. Yeah. And though there's a lot of those engines out there, you can just get a new engine. That's the only thing that's really going to ever wear out on it. And I mean, uh, new engines probably, uh, I think they are $1,800 or something like that. Yeah, but when you're, you get a good like machine like this, this is. You know, it's gonna make it. It's gonna make you well over eighteen hundred bucks. Oh yeah. To new engine. They uh, they say, they say these mo these motors are uh, uh, three hundred hour motors or three thousand hour motors. Yeah. And uh, I've heard of people on the internet say they got five thousand hours on them and they're still running strong. They may not look as good as this one does right now, but they run just fine. I like it, man. So let's get some leads to do it. Let's get it welded. All right, we're going to, we'll see you on the next one.